Hey you, what's up? It's your girl Jay and welcome to my house. I am finally doing a full house tour and I cannot wait to show you around. I've been here almost two years coming this August and I cannot wait to show you around the place that I call home and my own personal safe haven. So without further ado, come on in. So as you walk into the foyer in my home, you're immediately introduced to a shoe stand right on the corner. So that shoe stand is not only for myself, but also for guests that I have coming over. I try not to wear shoes around my house, so I have a strict policy for my guests not to wear shoes in my house, especially if they're going to be in the living room because I do have white carpeting. So there is a cubby on the side where you can just throw your shoes in and also there is a bin for socks for any of my guests. I try to always replenish it so they can always feel comfortable and if they have cold feet they can always just throw in a pair of socks. Above that I have this pretty gold uh, mirror that I got from Target. Target I swear they have everything so I like to look in that mirror before I'm going out you know check my makeup check my hair do a little mm, 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 one two make sure everything is put where it's supposed to be and I look good and then it's heading out right out the door and as you go in you see my kitchen and my kitchen I guess I say the kitchen is the heart of the home I don't really think that's the case for me I think my living room was the heart of my home but the kitchen is the kitchen so basically the way that I style the kitchen is just really simple in white and gray tones the jars I got from Target and they're so cute like I'm literally obsessed with those jars I saw them on Hyatt's she's an influencer on her blog or her Instagram a while ago and I was like I have to have that and then I just kind of you know style this decorative area in my kitchen just to make it like the focal point of the whole kitchen so from that that's pretty much simple um, it is like almost an open layer concept with my kitchen to my living room and that brings us straight into my living room so when you first come into my living room my eyes immediately spot this gorgeous fireplace behind me like I think that this was the selling point of the whole entire house for me because when I tell you when it gets cooler I light this bad baby up if you follow me on my Instagram if you saw any of my previous videos from um the last uh winter I really do enjoy this fireplace and the mantle above it honestly the way that I styled it I think I can't even remember how it was styled in the first video it was like a lot of I think I had lanterns up there and stuff like that but I completely changed the decor of how I did the mantelpiece and I could not be more happy with it. I really feel like that's a statement piece um, and I made it more of a statement piece. I feel like before I really wasn't sure what I was doing. I was just getting into home decor and designing my house and now I feel like it is where it is supposed to be. So as we make our way into the dining room, the formal dining area, I do have a couple of pieces that I brought with me from my previous apartment such as the saxophone little architectural piece that I have as well as the piece someone gave me. I have no idea where they got it from but it was just like a canvas that has as inspirational and aspirational words on it that leads into the formal dining area. I can honestly say the dining room is the only room that I think is actually completely finished in my house. Like I don't want to touch anything but that is right now. Who knows in like six months. I'm like okay. You know once you get tired of looking at something like okay it's time to do something else in here. But as of right now I'm completely obsessed with my dining room. So I actually got the dining table off of Facebook marketplace. Someone actually custom designed and custom made my table based off of a picture that I sent them as inspo. And when I tell you we're bringing browns back into here. So that dining room table is totally customized to my specific liking as well as the bench that is in there. When I tell 
where you find some amazing finds on Facebook Marketplace and people who just design stuff and could like make it and <laughs> make it for you for the low low. Honestly, a table like that and I would have cost me like two thousand dollars. I think I only paid about 700 if that for the table like just going off of my memory it was probably less less than that but still such a great deal so i do have a full video out right now on my dining room so i'm not gonna go too much in depth with that once you're done watching this it's gonna be right up here so you can go ahead and see the full tour of my dining room and i explained every single piece that i have in there in more greater detail so now that we're done with the dining room let's take a tour of where the magic happens and when i say magic i mean absolutely nothing nothing goes on in there besides sleep so but this is honestly one of my favorite other places i feel like my whole house is my favorite thing but honestly my bedroom is where i just feel the most at peace the most comfortable the most rested and it's just a vibe, like it's a vibe. So I actually, when I was doing this, I always knew I wanted a boho room because when I saw a Pinterest board, I mean, you hear me talk about Pinterest a lot. I'm obsessed with Pinterest. The main thing that I did when I was Pinteresting, I was like, I don't want just pink. I don't want just that aesthetic. I, I'm a grown woman now. Like I have my own house. And I don't, like, not saying that grown women can't have pink, but I was like, it's time to evolve past that. So I was like, let's do boho. Let's do like a burntish type of gold in here. Here. let's bring out all the bohemian colors and it does still have a tad of pink in there and incorporated but it's mostly a bohemian modern vibe and so I did get my bed from Turner's Turner's is not really it has a couple of locations down here but it's not a chain um, furniture store and I'm obsessed with this bed I'm actually very proud that to say that I actually just finished paying it off but it was well worth the price it was almost like it was what two thousand dollars around two thousand dollars and i just finished paying it off so i'm go so glad i don't have any more payments on that freaking bed let me tell you i am not really completely done with this room but i just wanted to take it and capture it as it is now and honestly i just got some new bedding from target and from home goods and it literally feels like a freaking fluffy cloud and I'm obsessed there are touches of me within my whole entire room I personally don't have pictures of myself because I don't know why like I just don't believe in like having full-blown portraits of just me myself and I in my house I just really look like looking at really pretty art because of me that inspires me like I have enough pictures of my of myself on my phone and I really feel like I'm good around of that around my house I already have a big ego why inflated even more you know so but there are touches of me with inside my bedroom so my favorite part of my bedroom are these quotes that I have for my two favorite books and one is Twilight and the other is Hunger Games and I just always it just always makes me remember to romanticize my life and that romance and love is still out there even in the crazy world and the crazy generation that we live in um, but that is pretty much my space my closet is in here and I did do a full closet organization video so you guys can go check that out once again <laughs> once you're done with this video so moving out of my main room I do have a second bedroom so my house is a two by two two bedroom two bath and let's go and talk about the guest bedroom so this is not only the guest bedroom this is also my work area this is where I create my content this is where I work from home this is where my guests sleep it's like three different functions in one and it's too small and I get overwhelmed all the time but it's okay it's we're gonna power through it like if I had a three bedroom house you couldn't tell me anything because my guest rep bedroom would be a whole separate thing but even then I might have made that a walk-in closet so who knows maybe I need four okay we're gonna get to that level though we're gonna get to that level 
but yeah this is my guest room this is my office you've seen me shoot numerous videos in this space and honestly i really wanted this to be like a pink dream and so that is pretty much what i made it um also it has aspects of green with it within it because if you don't know i'm a part of the sorority alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated yes get into it um so i also made aspects of green so it's kind of like my pink room slash sorority room in a mix of the vibe i really feel like this room needs the most help though honestly i it's fine right now but i just really wanted to make it like as stunning as the rest of my homes and on that same vibe and energy so that is officially the end of this house tour. I'm so glad that I finally got to show you around my house and show you the place that I call home and that is so near and dear to my heart. This is my first home. I purchased this house when I was 23. I'm 25 now. So it's been almost two years and I'm super excited that I invested in myself, invested in my generational wealth, that I was able to purchase this house by the grace of God god and i've honestly just been showing it is tender love and care and it's crazy to see where i started out from and that the bones that i had and where i created in what has turned out to be now there's always things that you want to do around your house and it's going to take time and the work is never done like you might think something is done like oh i'm good and you can look at that over and over again with the spin of like six months to a year and you're like okay that needs to be changed i'm tired of seeing this like let's move on let's do something fresh and so with when you own a house that never changes you finally own something that is yours and i'm so appreciative to have something that is completely mine and that no one could really take away from me if i continue paying my bills which i will and i'm so excited to just have a space to fall back on and to call mine hope you guys really enjoyed this video i'm super excited to share more of my home with you and to share share the full aspect of my house when it stops raining i'm officially going to do a patio tour as well but this weather in florida when i tell you it feels like seattle with the non-stop rain in the summer it is horrible and i'm officially over it so come this fall you will get that tour as well but it hasn't been great weather for me to even film that so i'm not even going to attempt to but you will be getting it come this fall content it's gonna be off the chain so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more videos like this please do not hesitate to comment down below let me know how you enjoyed this video what more you want to see from me and i cannot wait to reply to you guys also if you enjoyed this video if you appreciated this content make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up as well as thumbs up the rest of my videos also I have so much more that I probably did not really get to in this video, such as my pantry, my linen closet, my closet tour. All of those videos are going to be right over here on the side. So you guys can click up there and make sure you go watch those videos because they're so good. And they're filled with various moments of how I started my house from my first living room tour to where I'm at now. So make sure you click on those videos and do not forget to subscribe. All it takes is one second to click that button down below and do not forget to ring that bell so you can stay updated on all the videos I have coming at you. Until the next time you...